Hi guys, welcome back to Eve's Kitchen. Today is July 31st and it's a very special day because it's Harry Potter's birthday. So last Christmas, I got this book, the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, and I have yet to use it. So today is the perfect day to make Harry's first birthday cake from the book. So yesterday I decided to go back to the book and verify that it was a chocolate cake and yes indeed it was. It was a sticky chocolate cake with happy birthday Harry written on it with green icing. So today we're gonna be making that cake. Now disclaimer, this is not a healthy recipe. I was going to make it health healthy, I was gonna substitute some ingredients but then I was like you know what it's good to have dessert every once in a while. It's part of a healthy balanced lifestyle. So. Disclaimer, it's not a healthy recipe, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn out really, really good. I'm all geared up with the Gryffindor spirit. I've got my magic wand right here with a little bit of fun, enthusiasm, and magic. We're gonna make this work. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to follow this recipe step by step, starting off with greasing an eight inch pan for the cake and preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Then we're gonna start with the cake batter, which consists of a couple parts, starting off with 3 fourths cup of boiling water, a teaspoon of instant coffee, and half a cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened. Mix it together until smooth and set aside. Moving on to the dry ingredients, you're gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and mix together. For the wet ingredients, we're gonna use some magic. One stick of butter, one cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and mix it together. And as the recipe suggested, use an electric hand mixer. Add three room temperature eggs and mix well. Once the batter looks fluffy and nice, add the first part of the cake that we mix, which is the cocoa powder and the coffee mixture. Mix well. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add the dry ingredients slowly and mix together so that no clumps form and you have a very smooth batter. Once the batter looks like this, divide it in half because we're going to make two 8-inch cake sheets. Then bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Moving on to the chocolate glaze, we're going to conjure 8 ounces of chocolate, 3 fourths cups of heavy cream, a fourth stick of butter, and 1 fourth cup of corn syrup. Place it in the microwave for 2 minutes and with some heat magic, it should look like this. Moving on to the chocolate frosting, you're gonna need one stick of butter, one cup of confectioner sugar, one tablespoon of heavy cream, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And with a mixture spell, it should look like this. Add half of the chocolate mixture. Once you mix the frosting, if it comes out too soft, place it in the refrigerator for a couple minutes. Messy surface, lazy magic. For the green icing, we're gonna use one cup of confectioner sugar, a little bit of water just to make sure that the sugar thickens. Mix well and we're gonna add some green potion to this icing so that it turns green. Last but not least, let's build the cake. Place one of the cake sheets on a plate and add some frosting. This is gonna be the middle filling. Add the other cake sheet on top and you're gonna cover the entire cake with the chocolate frosting. And don't worry about how the frosting looks. Remember, Hagrid made this cake. It's not supposed to be perfect. Plus, he sat on it before giving it to Harry. So if it's messy, that's how it's supposed to be. Now 
This was the first time I made this recipe and it called to add the chocolate glaze on top. Next time that I make this cake, I'm not adding it. It was too much chocolate. But if you like the taste of strong chocolate, go for it. Although Happy Birthday Harry was written correctly in the book, I decided to add the movie aspect to the cake. And this is the finished result. Happy birthday, Harry.